Hi, I'm Victoria Bellew, and here's your sun sign horoscope for the week of December 11th through December 17th, aided by your ruling tarot card. The combination of these two powerful energies brings your likely path into focus and guides you on how to successfully deal with the challenges. For more in-depth information, I invite you to subscribe to my monthly online magazine, Astrologic. There, you'll find the brightest stars in astrology, tarot, dream interpretation, as well as many more metaphysical subjects. If you resonate with my YouTube videos, then you will love my magazine. And please, click the subscribe button here if you'd like to know when my new forecasts and meta minutes are posted. Okay, the week ahead begins with a Saturn-Sun sextile on Monday the Sun and Neptune square on Wednesday, and there's a Mercury-Uranus trine on Saturday. What this all means from a grand perspective is our intellectual powers will be put to the test. The potential for chaos exists, but also a pathway to sort out some perplexing issue you've been grappling with. There are more details with each sign, so let's get to it. Aries. Give and take is your mantra for the week. You will have moments when confusion reigns and you don't know which way to turn and um, also which route to take at work. When this happens, ask for help and don't be shy about it. Remember, you have the emperor as your ruling tarot card. That means you are especially adept at making wise choices. Asking for advice or help from someone else doesn't lessen your expertise. It adds to it. And you will have the opportunity to reciprocate later in the week when you help someone who's confused about how to proceed with a work matter. Taurus, this is going to be a significant week for you. You are going to go through some changes which could adjust or even redirect the current path you're on. Embrace them and lean into your ruling tarot card energy of the Hierophant. That means utilize your innate superpower, seeing how the structure of what you built already around work and your personal life can be enhanced or modified. What you decide is going to shake things up in your life and the shock waves will be felt by all those close to you. Don't be swayed by their fear of change. Move ahead with your new decision. Gemini, the potential exists for an unexpected shakeup for you this week. Now that you know that, you can be a little less surprised when it happens. This curveball will likely involve a relationship matter, but don't worry. You have the lovers as your ruling tarot card. You are a master at sorting through matters with others to reach an amicable solution. Embrace this innate ability to recognize how both of you can feel good about moving forward. Remember, establishing boundaries is healthy for all involved. Cancer. This is a week where you'll feel like being with friends and going out. But your analytical nature has the potential to put you into a self-critical mode. Don't be so hard on yourself. Lean into the superpower of your ruling tarot card, the chariot. That means hitting the pause button when negative self-talk begins. I know you're only trying to adjust and realign yourself, seeking to shine as the best of who you truly are. But the pull of the planets this week could cause you to take that too far. Don't let that happen. Be kind to yourself as you gently tweak what you want. Leo, what a, profit, what a profitable week you have ahead. All of the planetary alignments point to beneficial receptive energy for you this week. This relates not only to your work life, but your personal one as well. 
And with Strength as your ruling tarot card, you can really make the most out of this fortuitous situation. Use your innate natural gift of applying your gracious power and strategic moves to get that raise. Your window of opportunity has arrived. And in your personal life, it's time to enjoy all the things that matter to you. Embrace this season of giving, but also receiving. Virgo, the planetary alignments this week have you digging deep into your emotional foundations. You're going to be getting to the root of some of your most fundamental motivations. This can be an eye-opening experience. And with the Hermit as your ruling tarot card, you have the exceptional ability of diving deep into your revelations to discover new ways of how they can benefit you. This is a fantastic opportunity. Embrace it. The potential result will be a revised path forward for you, which you may not have been aware of, but is exactly what you need. Libra, honesty is your key word this week. The planets are aligned to push this particular brand of energy toward you. Grab on to it because it has the potential to change your life in the most amazing ways. And with justice as your ruling tarot card, you will carefully consider any modifications before you implement them. How fortunate you are to have this innate gift because as you make these well thought out choices, you create a sphere of honesty, but also integrity and security around yourself. Be fearless and sure that this is the right time. Scorpio, you're putting thoughts into action this week. It's time to implement the things which you've been considering for a while. Of course, this means instigating beginnings as well as endings, which can sometimes be difficult. But with death as your ruling tarot card, you innately know that wrapping up tasks or relationships whose time has come is necessary. And whenever there's an ending, a new beginning will surely follow. If you find a situation to be particularly sticky, just lean into your innate knowledge of what must happen and follow through. You'll be glad you did. Sagittarius, you are in a very interesting position this week. The planetary alignments are creating a scenario where the micro and the macro will both play big roles in your life. It will be necessary to look at a situation from a broad perspective, but also from a close-up view. But with temperance as your ruling tarot card, this is actually quite easy for you because you are naturally accustomed to being flexible and willing to discover new things. Embrace this energy, especially this week. The benefits can be enormous. Capricorn, this week is going to test you in a very specific way. You're going to be required to put into action something you've been talking about doing for a long time. Whether this is self-motivated or you're being prodded by a coworker or friend or family member, the time has come for physical manifestation. Just remember that you have the devil as your ruling tarot card. That means any fear you may have about implementation can be mitigated by your innate ability to turn loose of that fear. It's only mental self-imprisonment after all. And once free, you can create something extraordinary. Aquarius, the dynamics of your emotional intelligence comes into play this week. The planetary alignments push you into facing where you are with yourself as well as with others. Such a, deep such a deep exploration on so many levels can make you feel ungrounded. But remember, you have the star as your ruling tarot card. Your need for finding clarity and your ability to achieve it puts you in a great position to handle these tasks 
in an extraordinary way. Pay close attention to any lazy or destructive habits you've acquired. This is the perfect week to vanquish them. Pisces, reassessing your career path takes center stage for you this week. Thoughts about this have been circling around for a while, but now with the planetary alignment this week, they are being thrust into priorities for you. It's a change on the horizon or just a major adjustment. Whatever it is, remember, you have the moon as your ruling tarot card. This means you have the superpower to see through any illusions you may have created around what you can or should do. Pay attention to your dreams because they hold some concrete answers for how you should move forward. Well, we're all going to have some work to do this coming week, but by following the advice, the advice laid out here, you can all not only manage, but excel. I invite you to share any questions or comments below because I love hearing from you. And thank you so much for joining me.